the color of blood, the shades of blue, show how close a snail is to the great uber snail. When the blood glows blue, the ruler is true. For Nautilon! Not Ruid Coronation Council Handbook. Hi there, and welcome back, my friend, to Nautilon's second realm. The Seekers of Nautilon are looking for their snail god, Nautilon. And we're trying to discover more and more of space, even though it might be very, very dangerous. We're sending out Antonella Morales in the fray. We are also looking to build a ship. Let's see, we need a new corvette. We have that nightingale design. I don't know if that is good. What weapons does it have? It has snail mass drivers and red lasers. It's nicely balanced. I think, I think it might be an okay design. I'm not sure. Probably good enough, but it's called Nightingale. You cannot have that. Or would it be Nightingale? Uh, let's go for a new design then. Uh, auto design takes over upgrading and changing of the ships. But I want to name my design. Huh. What would we want? Picket ship? It has flag already. I'm not sure. Maybe really the interceptor and we'll go one time laser, two times the mass drivers. We've learned after all. Can't we? Hmm. Okay. We have a reactor booster if we want. I don't think we need one. Small ship's shields are always very good. So we could look into that. What kind of power generation? Yeah, that's not bad. Auto design takes control over upgrading and changing of the ships. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this is the preview version working here. Because, oh yeah, auto-generate designs. Ah, there, that is, that is. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand, I understand. I think I want that shield here because it's just usually so good to have the, the a big amount of shields at the start. Let me call that the the brave shell because it's so small but still so brave going out into the fray. We'll build one of these. And see to it that we use it. Hmm. Where should it go to? Let's actually select the first fleet in the fleet manager and add that to it so it all automatically goes there. Let's see. There we go. One ships. Yeah, I think it's better that way. definitely is even though we might have to wait a little bit for an expansion there I think we'll need something like that it's just a hunch maybe some pirates will be coming we don't know maybe that's already <laughs> not enough but we'll go for it now we'll go for it we have these two plants now that we can settle on and that's good Claim other systems is something we must do very carefully. Oh, let's see. Yeah, our, our temple building is doing very well. A shell formed temple is being erected. It's in the southern world. It could be here, like just here at the at the river. 
because you like some moistness as a snail. Construction queue is ready. I think the ship is on the way. Yes, it is. Also, let's look at the leader. Do we have a leader here? We could get an admiral. Maybe he would get the fleet logistician thing. We have an eager one even with leader upkeep going down. Probably not bad. Yeah, why not? Let's let's try that out. I think that's gonna be okay. Or the fleet. King Yu. I'm getting into another one here. And food. Food is gonna be interesting. Now, 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 now. What? We found a gigantic skeleton! My goodness, probably of, of, an, of a dangerous alien. What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Lodilicon, four have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. Maybe a hive snail? Probably it's not Nautilus, maybe it's one of his companions as a group, but a skeleton of a snail? It's not a shell, so it's something else. It's something dangerous. The bones been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that a Delicon 4 could have supported life on that scale at any point in the planet's history. And Professor Ningao has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. It's fascinating. Oh, look, look, look. We should look into that. And then continue to survey the system. Instantly do that, yes. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but we need to do this right now. We expand the shell where we can live in peace. We will, but where? We find more planets that are valuable as well as inviting. And I think we're not going to find aliens here or otherwise we would have found them. Habitable World Survey. We now know without a doubt that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Nautilon's favor. It is as if Nautilon had prepared planets for us. Both the scientific community and the public of large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable and life-bearing worlds. It's a commendable initiative. Situation log we want to find out more? Maybe a hint from Nautilus. Construction complete. Nice. The temple is there. We already have, I think, one person working there. So we have a couple of amenities now. And we have a little bit more unity. Thanks to the temple. Great stuff. It's so many minerals. We should look into using that. Maybe in the future we can go for another alloy foundry. Very, very soon, actually. I'm gonna make it a little faster, maybe. There's the media. The media is actually physics research. And here that looks like a good system. Oh, look at that. That's very interesting. Asteroids. Maybe we can... Oh, look. It's, it has got six minerals, this thing. It's a barren world with exceptional resources. A carbon world. Special product complete. Oh, 
The continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Ladelicon 4 worrying. Science officer Ningao has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate pieces were found within the larger skeleton and we assume these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash-landed on Ladelicon 4. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. It's, it's incredible and we get great things in Ladelicon 2, Ladelicon 4, and Silas Ningao has developed, developed new skills. He's and that's very fitting, paranoid. Indeed. Who wouldn't get paranoid about this? It's crazy. Crazy developments, I say you. We've got to settle here. It's very important. Ah, our research is complete. Planetary unification, we can get... Go for f peace festivals. Pacifist Edict fosters a spirit of unity and good cheer through whole seasons filled with special events and festivals, and we forget our fear from the Xenos. 11 years, happiness plus 10%. Very nice. And we can have additional Edicts, campaigns. Nice. Monthly unity plus 2 for free. Very good. Ancient warring tribes, historical nations in conflict. Now unified in empire, we must not and will not crumble. And oh... Oh, so much. Oh, so much. But I think going for genome mapping is is best. But we have to look into the removing of quicksand basins. Have we many of these on Nautilon's favor? We have actually none of them. It's clear what we'll take. We'll take genome mapping. Further increase the spread of the Nautiloids as to make the galaxy safer and quickly safer. Traditions available. A new life awaits our citizens in the off world colonies. A chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure. With the help of an aggressive marketing campaign, the less fortunate elements of our society will be flocking to our colony ships. Nice. See what more we can have there. Ah, La Delicon. Hmm, only this strange object will be looked at further. And then we can build something in La Delicon. And it's it's a good system. It's quite nice. And I think. It's time for a little bit more, even. Just a little bit. Because we need to make space safe again. And that is not possible with too many pirates. System survey complete. <laughs> Oh, so nice, so nice. Oh, we're lacking a bit. Not tragic, though. Ah, uh, maybe we'll postpone it because it's so important that we get this to work. So we can use our minerals here. That would be making a lot of sense. The Delicon, have that ready. We can go this path, path and survey that system. Yeah, I know you're paranoid, but it is as it is. We have one available job. Everything seems fine so far. Hmm. 
What's it here? Look at that. Wow, there's a lot to explore here. These tons of moons around the gas giant are very interesting. Got a thing. I mean, is it forming a belt? We've done it here. Let's see. We have so many minerals, we can queue up quite a lot of things. Let's do it in a relatively logical way. Start here. Then, uh, yeah, let's just use the pathing. Wow, that's going to be a great system to have. Research is really helping out at the start. Anomaly found. Or very hard anomaly. 1000 days? I don't think so. A sign of activity by an ancient precursor civilization in... Oh my goodness, we need to get this. Leave me for now though. Precursors. The hints that Nautilon left behind. We have mastered a new technology. Powered exoskeletons. Minerals from drops plus 5% and army damage plus 5%. Wearing a powered exoskeleton suit augments the user's strength and speed. The military applications are obvious, but will also increase labor efficiency. And now, we could go for robotic workers already. And we will do so because they can help us weaklings go for minerals. And we don't need carriers and coil guns for now. Here we go. And now would probably be the time for a Brave Shell class. Wait, not like this. We want it, but like this. And we're forming that looks a little bit like a snail. It doesn't look like a footprint. Now we need a, some kind of a spiral here. I don't know. I mean, Sedatoni would be a good start. And then maybe this way. Is that a kind of spiral? Origin 2 Starbase has finished its construction queue. That was a very helpful one. Let's see. Maybe we can also close this up then up here, but maybe that's preposterous. I think we've got one open job. I'm not sure though. Anomaly found. Oh, another anomaly. This Avaconia Avo system is very cool. It's a routine anomaly serving an asteroid. If they take life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet, what manner of organism could possibly live here? That's research. Is it dangerous? It's probably not so dangerous, but it feels dangerous for us. Look, new colony will soon be ready. Celebrate. We have claimed a new world for our nice. We've established the colony start of the spiral prime, the start of the spiral system. Have a look at our colony. What should we start with? We can start with nothing. Congratulations. We have one in the housing. Housing needs... Mm, okay, amenities is okay. I mean, we could really build one district if we wanted to. Five districts, one city district.
So it's a beautiful colony. Let's have a look what we have here. Oh, and everything is is going. Let's see. So we have impassable mountains here. Crazy, but clearable. A deep sinkhole. Also crazy. Quicksand basin. To research all of that. We have beautiful arid highlands. An elevated dry ecoregion. Bearing sparse vegetation of desert grasses and shrubs. Mm, with all the all wane cliffs. That's good. And all rich caverns, bountiful plains and fertile lands. And we have found silicron life forms. Some kind of burying silicon based life inhabits a vast network of tunnels. Near the barren surface of Av Avaconia 4. Best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rocks, and there's evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. Their tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. And look at that, it's very intriguing. What should we do here? Probably nothing right now. Everything's nice and going forward. Now, what is our plan for the next things? Yeah, we're building the next research station here. And then we'll go over here because look, look to that thing. 21 minerals. Are you kidding me? Move here. I mean, the research alone here is great, but that is really topping it off. Let's look further into what we can do with our system. Administrative AI. So our research speed goes up by 5%. Organizational circuitry rerouting academic fervor. Is there something else we could look for? Uh, blue lasers. Hmm, kind of okay. Fusion reactors. Would be good for our ships. Basic combat roles. Recent progress in AI behavioral theory allows us to designate specific combat roles to our shipboard computers. Mm. I don't think so. I, th I think if we want a better, better reactor, that's always pretty nice. At least it saves some money. So here we go. Not especially keen on doing something there, but if we want, we will. Let's have a look at Nautilon's favor, though. We have definitely something we could do here. We've got enough amenities for now. Five, though, is not really that much. We would need alloys. That would be great. Commercial zones probably would be a good progress, right? And it would not get us more alloys, which is a problem. would really, really like to have alloys increased. Ah. Uh, 28 people at 30, this unlocks. So we have two more workplaces and we could go for the alloy foundries if we want that. We could also go for the holo theaters or we could still go for the alloy foundries. <sighs> and also, look at this, consumer goods are getting low. There's that, but we have still a couple of consumer goods ready, so might go for that. I'm not sure. Now let's risk it and go for alloy foundries, I think. Whew. System survey complete. Let's 
go for another one of these. So we can scare off any attackers. Gosok. There's nothing here. Why can't we? Okay, okay, okay. System survey complete. Exceptional. And now? Well, I guess that is best. Galactic ambition. The banner of our great empire will one day be as common as hydrogen throughout the galaxy. Here we go. Really spreading it like there's no tomorrow. And we also need to get there. Don't know where they found the courage. That said, we have great times coming. We have a lot of anomalies that will solve themselves. We have a science ship that is doing nothing. Why? Goodness. Move here, we need to know what is near us. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Yvonne McCann signing out. May Nautilon be with you, my friend, day and night.